Hey guys, welcome back. This is actually a long overdue review, uh, Tech Islands review of the GTX 295 from ASUS. Uh, the reason why we waited for a long time is because we had to wait for this uh, power, su power supply from Silverstone to arrive. The ZM1200 watts because we wanted it, we wanted to make sure that our machine can run two uh, GTX 295s uh, without failure. So without further ado, let's get to this baby. Right now, this card is the king of the hip. Top of the heap, numero uno, beating the previous video champ, ATI's 4870X2. Actually, this was NVIDIA's answer to the 4870X2 because it also has two cores. Well, not really exactly the same as the 4870X2 because the GTX 295 is running two cards on an SLI bridge made into a single card. Whilst the 4870X2 is running two cores on a PCB. Sounds familiar? Yes, this is sort of like the big brother of the 9800GX2 that a lot of fans can see on. Now you may be thinking this card has hundreds of dollars written all over it. Well, you would be surprised to see hardcore gamers buying this baby even when the most people are on crisis mode. And I don't mean the game. This card roughly sells at around 25,000 pesos. At that price, mostly you could already buy a basic PC package, even a portable laptop. But let me tell you this. You do get what you pay for. So without further ado, let's get it on. Now here's the box. Well, just like the Rampage 2, it also has the ASUS flip cover. On the front of the box, you will see a very cool knight on a horse. This clearly shows this card is targeted, of course, towards games. What I have noticed though is ASUS seems to like the knight theme, as they have been having similar themes for most of their new gaming video cards, previously reviewed on the Matrix EAH4870. That being mentioned, for those of you who don't know, the cool thing about ASUS is they don't just deal with API or NVIDIA, they have both. They just make them cool. You can also clearly see on the front of the box, there's a sticker that mentions that you get 10% off on up to 5 games. There's a coupon inside. It tells you also that this card has 1792 MB of DDR3 RAM. It also has its own gamer OSD. It also has the technology of physics and it has an HDMI port ready at the back. Now when you open the flip, you will first see at the top of the flip the words hardware protector. It means that ASUS came up with its own technology to protect your system. It's actually called the Smart Doctor. The Smart Doctor allows you to have power level monitoring, which monitors the voltages you provide to your video card from your power supply. It also allows you to have temperature level monitoring, which monitors the temperature of your VGA card during games and when you're not doing anything. It also has fan RPM monitoring, which monitors the speed of the fans of your video card while you're using it. It also has shader clock overclocking. On the bottom of the flip, you will see Extreme Gaming, which tells you all about the ASUS Gamer OSD. The ASUS Gamer OSD is an overclocking anytime without stopping. What does that mean? It means you can overclock your video card on the fly even while you are playing the game. One of the functions you can do is you can actually overclock within the game and change the gamma, brightness, and contrast values while playing the game. You can also do video capturing. What does that mean? It means that you can capture your games live in a video file, a live file streaming, which you can then share to your friends. While you're playing the game, your friends over the internet can actually see you play the game live. So that is one amazing product you can only see on the ASUS video cards. You can also take screenshots during the game for you to post them and make them your own favorite wallpapers or share to your friend. Now at the back of the box, you will see very important information that you need when you want to buy a video card. Basically, first you'd probably look at the recommended system requirements. It says here that the recommended system requirements have the ASUS EN GTX 295, a system with 2GB system memory, a system with at least 2GB system RAM, a motherboard with a free PCI Express slot, Microsoft Windows XP, Windows Vista, or even Windows 7, a minimum of 680 watt system power supply for one single card with a 12 volt current rating of at least 46 amperes. Now, the box with it. When we got this card, I was surprised at its weight. Now I can see why. When ASUS wants a package in style, they definitely know how to do it right. When you open the box, you will see a very elegant second box. You are greeted with a minimalist black box with the ASUS gold logo at the center. 
Now what lies beneath the box? The contents. Inside these boxes, you will find the setup and manual CD, DVI to VGA adapter, dual Molex to 6-pin connector, an audio cable, a 2 6-pin PCIe to 1 8-pin PCIe power adapter, a coupon, speed setup guide, the fight on my old EAH 3870X2, a disc folder to keep and protect all your access discs and games that you will buy, the card. Well, as most hardcore gamers know, cards are getting bigger and bigger. Why? Well, they need more room for cooling. But this card has also more reasons. You see, deep within the realms of this behemoth are actually two cards on SLI packed into one. Like I said at the start, this was also done on the old 9800GX2. Asus has made its way to improving cooling on the GTX 295. Now we move on to the cooling of the card. But before we do that, let's pause for a break.